welcome to the channel and welcome back for a brand new easy and delicious recipe that you will definitely want to try this summer i am not even kidding you this is one of my favorite desserts to make and i am not even a baker at all i've always tried to be a baker somehow my recipes are always a flop but this one never fails me this is a super easy way to make blondies it is such a sweet and delicious dessert and the best part about it is it only takes a few ingredients the first thing you're gonna need is a boxed cake mix i'm just using this white cake mix that we have from betty crocker then you are gonna need one fourth cup of vegetable or canola oil one large egg you are going to want a half a cup of milk and you can use a little more or a little less depending on how you like your blondie texture. I am using about a half a cup of white chocolate chips and a quarter cup of sprinkles. I'm using some festive 4th of July sprinkles. I thought this would make for a really fun dessert to bring to a 4th of July cookout this summer. To a large bowl, you're going to add in all of your cake mix, your vegetable oil, and your egg. Once I have those ingredients in there, I'm going to go ahead and give this a mix. Now you're going to take this a little at a time. And you want to do this because you don't want to make this batter too wet. You want a really thick and dense batter for blondies. To make sure it's not getting too much liquid, I'm going to slowly add in my milk and keep stirring as I go. And you will see I do end up using a full half cup of milk. You can use a little bit more like I said before if you want it a little more runny, but I like a really thick and goopy texture to my blondies. I went ahead and switched over to just a mixing spoon that way I didn't over mix this batter and then there I go adding the rest of the milk in it was a little too thick for my liking. I feel like these are a really trust the process type of dessert because it doesn't really look quite right when you are mixing it and it feels really thick and the texture feels really off but you guys really have to trust the process on this one and I promise the end result is so delicious. Once that is well combined, I'm going to go ahead and with my white chocolate chips, this gives the blondies such a nice creamy chocolatey taste. And you'll see I did leave some out that way I can add them to the top of the blondies. For the sprinkles, I went ahead and added all of them in, but I did go ahead and pour out some more to add to the top once I was finished. You guys will see here in just a minute. Don't over mix this in. You just kind of want to fold these in until they are just folded in. And then we are going to go ahead and grease up a baking dish. I've had my oven preheating to 350 degrees. That way once this is all said and done, we can just stick it right in there because we don't want to be waiting on anything to have to preheat.
So now that we have our batter into our greased baking dish, I'm going to stick this into our oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. I probably could have let this go about 32 minutes, I'd say, because I used a smaller baking dish than I normally do, but you guys can decide on how long you want yours in. I left mine in for just 30 minutes, and then you do have to let this sit out for 30 minutes. That is a really important part of making blondies. You have to make sure it sits out for at least 30 minutes, even longer if you want, just so that center can really set. Once it has cooled for at least 30 minutes, I went ahead and dug right in. I was so excited to eat these. I actually haven't made them in quite some time. And this time I got to enjoy them with all of my kids and they all three really loved them. My oldest son doesn't even like cake. So he was surprised that he really liked these. He went back for seconds. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you have ever tried a blondie before and if you have have you ever tried making it with a box cake mix definitely give it a try if you haven't already this is a dessert that is perfect for any gathering and you can make it your own with your own toppings and your own add-ins a really delicious way to serve this at home is with some ice cream on top. Oh my gosh, it just gives it that extraness that everybody needs in their life. Sadly, I didn't have any to add to mine today, but we still really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys do too. If you try this, make sure you tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see your creations. And as always, thank you guys for making it this far. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like today's video. And we'll see you guys back real soon with a brand new video. Bye!